Tools by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you the Affinity Designer, really good application available on the Mac. Uh, it's a vector application and it's got loads and loads of great features, some that are pretty unusual for a vector app. So I'm just going to go over here and I'm just going to go to show you the double star tool. And uh, so just select that and you can set the fill, stroke, etc., the usual standard things you can with uh, most. Uh, applications so I'm just gonna just drag that there and right once I've actually done that I'm actually just gonna go for a, a solid color so I'll just change that now what you can do once you've done that of course you can resize it rotate it and those sort of things but you can also modify the number of points so now the double star is slightly different from you can actually see it's not so you've actually got like an alternating star pattern so it's sort of that one goes all the way that just goes to that position and you can modify that as well so you can modify the number of points so you can just see you've got so you can just see it a bit clearly now and they're all obviously the same at each of those points all the way around what you can do also you can just go over here just click there and you can modify the inner radius so you can just make it very very small or it obviously just go out and you also go the other way as well. You can actually see, you can actually create a, sort of like a gear pattern as well. So right, go all the way down. So there's a number of options you can do with this. And again, you can go all the way down and you can you create an interesting, obviously combination of this. Just go over there. And again, you can go out and you can create a more like a spear sort of, uh, Unusual, very unusual design anyway unusual star right so once you've actually done that you can also modify it at the I'm just gonna go down to actually the double star and you'll notice when you actually do that you actually get these little points which are there. so you can actually modify it interactively so you can just go up down do that just change get various star designs and also you can modify it here now one thing it's very nice it's got these little markers so every time you do it you can see it tells you that you've reached a certain point you think oh well that for aesthetic designs you actually just get that point again it tells you nicely and that point and so on and so on all the way up and again you go all the way to the top and you get this sort of flat star starburst sort of design which is really quite nice as well so there's a number of options and you go all the way down again like that and again you go the other way so right so once you've actually decided that's the star I want, well, it's, it's a pretty nice star and very probably pretty tricky to do in uh, Illustrator. I mean, obviously you could actually do uh, maybe obviously two stars, rotate it slightly and uh, combine them. That might be a quick way of doing it. So once you've done that, now you can actually also convert to curves, which is quite nice. So just quickly click, and it's obviously lost that facility to actually modify the, so you can actually go here and just select the individual points which is quite nice, so you can create a, maybe slightly more unusual stars, but you've still got the basic star already created. And you can of course modify and move that. And if you actually add, accidentally just tweak it like that, you can actually add a sort of rounded section as well. So, right. And another thing which is really good about this affinity is you can actually quickly go through this. So if you say you make a mistake, like I've just done, you can actually just go back and you can go very quickly through this little undo, which is really nice. And you can go back to the point where it's actually still a star. So you can still go back and modify it. And again, of course, you've got a whole range of different stars which can be quickly applied. These are default stars, but you can also just go to the layers, layer effects. Now, you can add Gaussian blur. That's a nice little feature that's uh, not available generally on layer effects, but it's uh, really quite handy. I quite like uh, Gaussian effects, you can actually just quickly blur and it's a live effect. And again, add usual outer shadow 3D ish. <laughs> Not particularly what I would think of the 3D, but I'm certain that it uh, gives a 3D like effect. But I must admit, extrude would be much nicer to actually extrude it at this point. Anyway, you've got bevel, boss, and much more. Most of them unfortunately you can't see when you've actually got the Gaussian blur on so it's not so clear. Right, 
Anyway, and again, it's all still pretty interactive, so you can actually still modify it when, obviously, it's a little bit noticeably slower when you've actually got the layer effects also being applied. As you can see, it just, but you can still quickly create many kinds of designs.